All right, welcome back everybody. I have another Ericsson Dialog telephone to show you all. Another one from Mexico. This time it's in the light gray color, although it's been uh, yellowed uh, into more of a tan color. You can't really tell in this light, obviously, because it's evening and I'm using a lamp behind it. But this one is in good shape. I, I uh, received it in the mail today. And it's a little bit broken, as you can see, I have a couple of pieces to the uh, side of it. Um, this part comes from the back where, um, just under the carry handle, it looks like it's broken. But both pieces are together, it's just, uh, if you put that down and I turn it, the piece is still intact with the screw, so if I glue it together, it might hold. It doesn't hurt to find out, otherwise I'll have to find something or another phone or to find a, a spare part for that. Or I'll just have to leave it as it is and leave it broken. But anyway, um, the plungers, of course, fall out when uh, without that thing uh, in place. So uh, even the, the spring that's on the thing is still intact. As you can see, it's kind of a V-shaped from this angle. But all the parts are intact with the exception of a missing foot. As you can see this extra hole here, um, that's where a foot goes. And what's different about this dialogue is that instead of the screw terminals, let me turn it. Instead of the screw terminals, it uses the slide-in terminals. And I haven't seen that before on these phones. So that's, I guess, a unique thing with the uh, dialogues of uh, Mexico. On the dial, it's turning fine. I think the, uh, the spring in the dial needs to be tightened because it's a little bit loose feeling. So I don't know if someone messed with it, but I'll have to figure that out. But there's another look at the inside there. I don't know what year it's from, but I'll show you the bottom. We've got the markings there. there, right there, and right there, and then that's the, that's for the ringer, I'll show you the closer look at this, the screw is still intact, and the spring right there is still intact, so if I glue it together, it might hold, just be really, really uh, careful with it. Let me flip it over in a little bit here. Show you the bells. They're pretty uh, tarnished, but certainly nothing uh, Brasso or Wright's brass polish can't fix. And a different thing is kind of a unique thing here. If you look, the cord restraints are clear vinyl or clear rubber transparent. That's kind of a unique thing with these uh, Mexican uh, dialogues. It's those clear restraints. There's a look at that. Actually, I don't see any dead roaches in this phone like the other uh, phone from Mexico that I have. The Sono phone. That one was a roach motel. This one, I'll, I would have to check under the network because that's where they like to hide in those tight spaces. So we'll figure it out if any roaches have been living in this one. Or just decided to molt. Anyway. Then I'll show you the, uh, so the handset is missing the transmitter, but the receiver is still intact. We've got Erickson and still got its cord. 
I think I could probably get rid of these spade terminals here and attach a uh, RJ11 plug, but I think I would like to keep those and just get a terminal box for it. And then I'm going to show you here the housing. It still has its diagram in it. I don't know how well that shows there, but that's the wiring diagram for this dialogue. It's not very clear, but I will take a picture of it for the end. Nothing's damaged. It's still got its number card uh, window here. Spring is still there, which is good. And we've got a sticker here. Telmex. Acaraciones telefonicas. And there's a phone number. And this means um, telephone clarifications. So that is cool. Not much to say about this phone. I'm just ready to go and uh, start cleaning it. Anyway. But I just have to keep it like that. Oh, yeah, the cord also has a restraint on this end too. The clear one. Anyway, whoops. Anyway, um, that is the uh, gray colored Ellen Erickson dialogue tell from, from Mexico. And since you all saw the inside of the phone, there's no need to uh, take any pictures. Um, but I will have a picture at the end of the diagram before I take it out to clean. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.